Good morning. It is Friday the 28th of January 2022. That means it's Draper Day. Paul Draper's second solo album, Cult Leader Tactics, comes out today. It's up. It's on Spotify. I'm just about to listen to it. I have got the deluxe edition on order. I just saw an email saying that it's on its way to me. So hopefully I'll receive that today. When I receive that, I will unbox it. But I am now going to listen to the album on Spotify first. I've got my Manson, my six t-shirt on to celebrate. So I'm gonna have my first listen on Spotify and I will tell you what I think. Just finished my first listen of the album. It's just about 8 a.m. now. Yeah, massively impressed. I think I enjoyed every single track. Um, what struck me on first listen, a few thoughts. Number one, I've seen online some like initial fan reports that this album has, people are comparing this album to six. For me, it feels much more akin to Attack of the Grey Lantern, which it's fine by me because that's my favorite Manson album, my absolute favorite Manson era. Even the beginning, like the first song, Cult Leader Tactics with all its strings, had a bit of the feel of the Chad who loved me and then going into International, International which had some of the sort of echoes of Manson's only love song. I sort of felt very Attack of the Grey Lantern vibes for those two. And I, it, d definite little echoes and throwbacks to Manson, early Manson and the B-sides of that era as well, along the way. Um, what else struck me was how much humour there is in this album. Like I said in my, when I was talking about the albums that I was looking forward to, how, um, you know, Paul Draper's, like in the video too, You've Got No Life Skills Baby, he sort of takes the piss out of himself. Like, I haven't really seen him being like that before, but he does that on this album. There's a lot of humor. Um, you Killed My Fish, for example. I, that's one of my favorites on first listen. The verses are like attacking someone for killing a pet fish, but then the choruses are like this heartfelt love song. But then he, um, I think he, he starts listing different fish and I think at the end I heard him say smack my fish up which is very funny uh, throughout the, like I think I heard a um Monty Python sample like he's not the messiah he's not the he's a very naughty boy I need to listen to this with headphones I was listening to it on my telly uh first listen mm, great melodies like a pop sensibility throughout the album as well um thus again i'm surprised people compare it to six because six is very uh challenging in many ways you know it's not very poppy a lot of the time it's it, it chops and changes and there's weird stuff this to me has more of the more straightforward pop feel of attack of the gray lantern if you can call anything manson ever did straightforward and the humor uh, you know, in Attack of the Grey Lantern, which I feel was slightly less there in 6. So, yeah, I'm happy. This is a really great album. I need to listen to it some more. And I will be... Well, my plan is to listen to it over the weekend and give you my thoughts along the way. I've just had a closer look at the email from Royal Mail, and it turns out my, uh, my deluxe edition is not arriving till Saturday. It says it'll arrive Saturday by 3 p.m., uh, and I'm going to be out a lot of Saturday, so, uh, well, it'll be something to look forward to when I get home, won't it? Anyway, um, when I get that, I will unbox it on this video, so stay tuned for that, and I'll talk to you a bit later. Just finished work for the day. I've been listening to Cult Leader Tactics all day. I think I've listened to it four times while I was working, in addition to listening to it for the first time this morning. I love it. It's just full of brilliant tunes like every single song is so enjoyable to listen to yeah I, I i do already think it is way better than spooky action which was not a bad album but this is on another level and um it's just such a brilliant thing to see paul draper back with so much confidence um it's like he's back to his old self his old manson self um so yeah really 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 enjoying the album hello it's saturday uh the 29th of january 
it's 11 a.m i'm just sort of getting myself ready to head out uh for an afternoon in london town but this has arrived so let me um now i, I wasn't intelligent enough ah I wasn't intelligent enough to bring scissors, but there's scissors here. I must have known psychically at some point in the past that I would need scissors to open this uh, this amazing parcel. Um, it's very well wrapped, very well boxed. It's the deluxe edition of Cult Leader Tactics. And uh, here it damn well is, and it's signed. I forgot that it's signed, but it's signed by Sir Paul of Draper himself, Cult Leader Tactics. Look at this thing of beauty on the back. It tells you what's on all the discs. So you've got the album, acoustic and stripped down versions, outtakes, demos and bloopers, and a DVD with a surround sound mix. So that's what it, that's what it looks like on the inside. And uh, lots of <laughs> amazing picture of Paul Draper there. Can I just get you a close up? Looking like an absolute cult leader, as I think we all can agree. He is our cult leader, the Manson Faithful. So it's a whole book. You can see it's a whole book he's written about how to be a cult leader, tactics of the cult leader. Uh, and he apparently, he said online that he recommended to listen to the surround sound mix. I don't know if, I don't have a surround sound set up. I assume you have to have lots of speakers all around. Um, so listen to the surround sound mix and read the book. So I might do that maybe tomorrow and then come back and give my sort of final, my final initial thoughts. <laughs> if that makes sense. Obviously, it takes a long time to have a, uh, you know, full thoughts about um, an album. You can't really sum it up in a few days, but you know, my final thoughts of the first three days of listening to it, basically. But I am really, really loving it. Like it has everything, everything I loved from the Manson days, basically. And I'm gonna uh, listen to Cult Leader Tactics while I head out to Liverpool Street. So I'll get a sense of uh, what it feels like to listen to the album on the go. And then tomorrow I will listen to it in, well, I'll listen to it with while reading the book, even if I can't do this around sound thing. And then give some final thoughts. So I'll speak to you soon. It's now midday on Sunday and um, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day outside and I'm staying indoors because I'm a bit hungover. Um, I didn't intend to drink. I'm actually in the middle of... I'm actually doing uh, Sober Till My Birthday. Uh, two months sober, so 20th Jan to 20th of March. Obviously, I failed, but I'm going back to uh, mostly sobriety. Um, after after this <laughs> yesterday's indulgence but yeah i wasn't supposed to drink my friend wasn't supposed to drink because he was doing dry jan and as soon as we were sat there and having brunch we we're like we need mimosas and so we did that and then just carried on drinking um so yeah and i'm not having as productive a day as i planned but i have listened to the i listened to the surround sound disc the dvd of cult leader tactics. Obviously, I don't have a surround set up, but it still sounded really good. And I read part of the book. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to make of the book. Um, the end message is one of like being seems to be one of being true to yourself. Actually, don't listen to all the cult leader tactics. Be true to yourself. Be kind to people, etc. Uh, which is a a very good message. Um, the book is also very difficult to read, uh, there's the green text on pink, uh, which I assume is deliberate. Um, so I haven't read through all of it, but I, I did glance through all of the pages. Um, but it is, uh, it's just a beautiful package, as you will have seen in my unboxing, and if you have a copy yourself, you will know. Um, it's a glorious thing. 
uh so yeah my final thoughts for this little video obviously i'm gonna listen to the album a hell of a lot this year but a few things stand out one is that this album to me has like elements of every single manson era it has that sort of more pop uh sensibility of attack of the gray lantern um but it has the oddness and kind of eccentricity of six um some of the songs with when where the love theme comes up they could come straight out of little kicks um and some of the rockier elements like the riff to the title track um when that kicks in you could be listening to kleptomania like it uh, there's a lot that sounds like kleptomania as well and it's just really a fantastic thing to have this new record that sounds like a Manson record. I don't mean to like belittle Paul as a solo artist, um, but obviously for me and for a lot of his fans, Manson is what made us fans. And to hear songs that have those elements that we love so much from Manson in our youth, you know, for me anyway, that is just a really incredible thing. Um, and for me personally, one thing that is so wonderful about this album is that it kind of, I tie it into Manic Street Preachers because Manic Street Preachers and Manson are my two favorite bands ever in the world, ever. And the fact that the Manics, uh, you know, last year put out one of the greatest albums of their career and are in the middle of one of their greatest eras. And now Paul Draper has put out one of the greatest albums of his career. You know, that stands up. I would say I would happily rank Cult Leader Tactics alongside Attack of the Grey Lantern as six as you know being up there with his his best work it's also just feels like an absolutely wonderful start to my year as a music fan to have a new album from paul draper which is just so fantastic i couldn't ask for more really and um i'm gonna see him live in a few days so that's that's it from my cult leader tactics thoughts and uh, for now, I am signing off. Scruffy, signing off. <laughs> Take care now. Bye.